Alright, so, hello, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Let us see, once again, what I can get done in 20 minutes. Or about 20 minutes. Give or take a few. So I'm going to try and, um... At least open up the second shortcut back to the bonfire. Now, I can't really remember how to do that. I'm just doing it off of muscle memory at this point. Uh, let's try and, um... Now, the first time I did this, I cheesed this guy by killing him with arrows. I'm gonna try and do it legit now, by running past him. If I don't die in the process, I might very well get pancaked and die. Nope, I made it. I don't know how characters with a lower uh, health pool could ever make it through that. That is insane. Alright. I wonder... I don't know if I've, um... I don't know if I've already done this... in this playthrough, but for people that don't know... So right here is a Mimic. And, uh, there's an- if you don't want- if you really don't want to fight a Mimic, there's an easy way to get the item inside the Mimic. If you throw an Undead Hunter Charm at it, the Mimic will open up, and you can simply take the item that is inside the Mimic. That's an interesting little thing that, uh, you can do. I learned that in Dark Souls 1, when the undead hunter charm used to be called a Lloyd's Talisman. I don't think I've shown that already. And if I have, I forgot. It's whatever. Okay, so, let's get rid of this guy. These sneaky little assholes climbing up walls and shit. Think they're Spider-Man. Okay. Um. Oh, great. There's this guy. And one of these little assholes again. Wow. So much health. And I am doing no damage. Whatsoever. Nope. That shield bash is so insane. They're able to... They're able to do it so quickly. Cathedral Knight Armor, I've never picked that up. I bet that is heavy as all hell. Yeah, that is super heavy, but it's also really good. That's pretty insane. Okay, so in here is an interesting enemy. Um, hopefully I won't uh, get killed by it here. Oh, Jesus, that is, uh, that's really bad. Oh, God. Okay, I'm not going, I'm gonna run. Oh, fuck that. That is a lot of curse. That is insane. Let's just cheese it. Yep, there goes the the curse gas. Do I have like any do I have a ring to block curse or no? Okay. I probably have an armor set that's slightly resistant, but uh There we go. Aldrich's sapphire, which does something. 
Uh, recover FP from critical attacks. That's no use to this build. Uh, before I go up that staircase right there, I'm going to go back up. Because there's an item up there. In a chest. I was invaded by a dark spirit. Uh, that's a player. I've been invaded by a player named Twinkie. Fantastic. It has always been my dream to be invaded by a player named Twinkie. Oh, this item is not in a chest, I was mistaken, and it is Seek Guidance. Now that particular miracle doesn't really do anything other than uh, show you... It'll reveal more summon signs and messages. Other than that, it doesn't do anything. Now I have no idea where Twinkie is, so I'm just gonna keep going. I'm going to clear as much of this as possible, so... If I die, I don't have to come back here. Well, other than pick up my souls, but... Eh. These attacks are so bullshit. I was close, didn't want to fall down there. I'm expecting Twinkie to show up at any time here. I don't know where invaders spawn in this area. I've never been invaded. In this area before. Oh, there he is. Twinkie. Whoa, my friend. Do you have a terrible internet connection? Oh, you're out of, um... Oh, no, he's not. Oh, he's probably out of the blue. You have the audacity to try and use a dueling charm when you chug? What fucking idiot are you? There you go, my boy! Hey, you're trapped in the corner now. Piece of fucking shit. What a dirtbag. What did I get for that? Like 300 souls? What kind of shit is that? Please. What kind of asshole comes into your world, invades you, and then tries to hit you with a dueling hunter charm so you can't use Estus, and then uses Estus himself? What kind of shit is that? Alright. I need to go back down. I lost track of what I was doing. <laughs> that is so stupid. Uh, poor Twinkie. Alright. Um. What's the deal here? The deal. The deal is to kill these enemies. That's what the deal is. Oh, I've been invaded again. This time it's an NPC, though. It's good old, uh, Kirk. It's my old friend, Kirk. Captain Kirk. The Thorn Knight himself. Oh my god. That guard break is insane. This guy is quite a bit tougher than Twinkie.
Jesus Christ, man. Poor Captain Kirk. In Dark Souls 1, that guy can invade you like three or four times, and you kill him every time. I can't remember if he invades in Dark Souls 2 as well. I don't think he does. At this point, I'm just checking around here, see what's going on. Actually, before I progress onward, I wanted to uh, check my network settings. Yeah, cross-region play, I'm gonna turn that shit off. I don't want people like Twinkie invading me, and they're like just like rubber banding all over the place from lag. Because that is so stupid. I could take on this giant, but I'd like to get the second shortcut to the bonfire. Open up that second door. Which I think is over here. There should be a doorway over here somewhere. Yeah, right here. Oh. This little asshole tried to get some and failed. Okay, so this is a door to the elevator that allows you to get up into the rafters of the cathedral. Which is, um, that's an interesting little adventure to go on. And then this is back to the bonfire. Nice. Gonna rest. How many souls do I have? 38k. Hmm... I'm gonna go back and uh, do some Firelink business because I'd rather not lose 38k, especially when the next area I plan on going to is uh, up top to the rafters. That's uh, that's quite the dangerous area, just because of gravity. Gravity will kill you every time. Gravity is my number one enemy in Dark Souls games. Does this guy have anything new to say? Gaining admission to the Legion. No, he doesn't. I need to go kill the Legion. Alright. Uh, let's see. Level up. It's time to... Actually, I need one more strength for that shield. Time to up dexterity a little bit. I've got some ashes for... The... Handmade here. Now, what does that add? Items. I think she already had all of these. Maybe she didn't have the dual charm. I don't know. I never bought the tower key. That is, uh, that's interesting. I'm gonna buy the torch. In case I get those maggots. If I get those maggots again. Looks like that's it. And I don't think I can do anything at Andre, so... Back to the Cathedral. Nope, I do have an Undead Bone Shard, and I do have an Estus Shard. I just remembered that. I just remembered that. Alright. Do I have one more? No. Okay. Pretty be, Pretty be careful. Now I can go back to the cathedral. Okay, so going up. Going up top. 
What time am I at? I am at about uh, 1650. I'll probably end it when I hit the bonfire at this secret area over here. Or maybe after I talk to Patches, I don't know. This guy drops the deep ring. Now, the deep ring... ...allows you to attune additional spells. There are several rings in in this game that do that for whatever reason I guess maybe they realized people didn't want to level up attunements to get spell slots I don't know I've tried to do spell casting in this game and I just can't seem to do it because Certain stats are just too important to level up, so you end up having no points left to put into, you know, intelligence or attunements. Or maybe I'm just doing it wrong, I don't know. Great, this is, um... This is terrible. Okay, so there's one way in. Um, that does not have an item. The next one does have an item. This one has an item. And it is the Arbalist, a.k.a. the Heavy Crossbow. Never used it, so I don't know if it's... If it's any good. Crossbows in Dark Souls in general aren't very good, because they're just too slow. Except for the, um... The only crossbow that I've ever seen used regularly was the, the Avalon. Which shoots uh, three, three bolts at once. That's the only crossbow I've ever seen used regularly. Uh, even in PvP, that crossbow was used sometimes. Okay. Now these guys with the great swords are insane. So I'm probably not going to kill this guy. Instead, I'm going to pick up the item. Oh shit. Okay. I picked up the blessed gem. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but just don't go down the blessed infusion path. It's absolutely garbage. Absolutely garbage. There's no other way to describe that infusion path. Goddamn. The impact on that shot was insane. Oh my god. I could have died. Okay, so Patches is not over here. I'm not really sure what triggers Patches to be over here. He should be over here. Maybe after the rest of the bonfire or something. These things, like, what the hell are these things? These things are disgusting. Actually, I know what these things are. I know what they are.
I have my own theory as to what these things are. It's probably not right, but that doesn't matter to me. You see, what my theory is as to what these things are, if you, if you go in here, you'll see this chick right here. Now, her covenant is called Rosaria's Fingers. And if you look closely, she's got this weird thing, like, wrapped around her that kind of resembles those things out there. And if you look, I don't think you can actually see her other hand. So I'm thinking, alright, this weird, like, fleshy blob thing... It's probably her hand, right? And those things out there, those are her fingers. Yeah. It all makes sense now. Oh, I got the, uh, the Thorns armor set. I didn't even realize you got that here. That is interesting. I think I am going to join Rosario's fingers. Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm just going to rest the bonfire here, though. And, uh, I am at 23. So this is, this is about where I wanted to end it. So, I'm going to end it here. So long until next time. Let's get the wave off. The wave. Goodbye.